what do you do with your art? That's like the weirdest question. I get this question so much and it's such an odd question. And it's something that I feel like only happens with, since I'm doing digital and 3D and people are always wondering like, what do you do with your art? Now, I guess that's a multi-tiered question. It's like, what are you doing to sustain an existence and make money, which I understand. But then most of the time it just feels like, like, what do you do with it? Like you've created this image, you've created this render and what can you do with it? Because I'm not an animator. I don't bring it over into, you know, some other program where, I mean, I bring it over into Blender for renders, but I don't, I don't aspire to work on, you know, films or TV, you know, from what I do, people assume that like, oh, you must be into animation or going into animation, or you want to work in video games and TV and film. And that's just seems like the end game for some people going to work for a company or just creating things for that. When for me, I ultimately just love creating art. I mean, I like animation. I like all of that other stuff, but animation is, I don't think people realize how difficult how expensive and how many people are required to create an a 3d animated film in the way that people view them and, and see them it's extremely difficult but that's not even the, the difficulty even isn't even the reason that i don't want to do it i just continually like creating beautiful things to look at so i'm a traditional artist i've grown up doing traditional art ever since i can remember and that's pencil and paper and just drawing things and creating cool things. Now, it isn't really something that, you know, no one really questions when someone is doing something on pencil and paper. Maybe it's because you can just show it or display it. But even then, the whole purpose is to look at it, to create something beautiful that evokes some sort of emotion in someone that people can view and just see. And it just exists. And it's just something that exists in the space that didn't exist before that people think is beautiful. And that's essentially what I love doing with digital art, with 3D art. And it's something that I just don't really see that much in 3D art. It always has to have some sort of, it's always like part of a pipeline into something else. I totally understand that the people, I, I think they get into this sort of thing wanting to become rich. But for me, it was never really about getting into it to get an amazing job where I can get rich. Like that's just not what drives me. What drives me is creating beautiful things. And now also what drives me is teaching, which I never thought that I would want to do or have fun doing or be able to do or have a voice to be able to do this and have people not be annoying. I mean, annoyed at my, <laughs> be annoying, be annoyed at my voice. So uh, that's been one of the biggest things for me is just teaching and teaching is a way that I can create my art. I can create beautiful things, but then I also use it in a way that I can just teach other people. So that's how I am able to make money. Obviously I teach on Skillshare and Udemy and hopefully in the future I'll have my own platforms where I can also host classes, but we'll see. But essentially that's, that's why I do it. You know what I mean? I, I don't really, I don't have, I don't really want to get into, I don't really want to have like a boss. Like I don't want to work for a company and just work on things that other people have done and just be part of a pipeline. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just something that I, I don't really want to do. I have this drive to just create and be creative and make new things. So I also don't really like spending months and months and months on one thing. I need to, if I have an idea, I want to do it. I want to create it. I want to learn from it. I want to teach myself as much as I can. And I want to use that in new things or my own designs. That's just, that's kind of how I work. So that's what I do. That's why I create art. I create it because like I, I need to, I love creating beautiful things. I don't work for a 3D company. I don't work for any films. I don't do animation. I do like little tiny, small animations that are fun. I'll show you one at the end of this video, but I don't want to be a 3D animator. And animation is completely and utterly different than being a 3D artist or a 3D designer. And a lot of people that aren't in the world just think that, oh, like you do animation. Animation is like a catch-all for anything having to do with like art or digital art or 3D. You know, but I understand it. People that aren't in it, they kind of lump all that stuff together. That's what people see. People see it, when people are exposed to 3D, like in TV and film, it's always animation. In games, it's always animation, but it's not always that. For me, I've had to figure out a path that works for me uh, using Nomad, using teaching online courses and things like that. That's how I have 
carved out a niche. And I think that it's just important because I don't feel like I don't feel like doing games and TV is the only way to create art. It's not easy. There's it's it's not like I'm saying you shouldn't go after those type of things, but sometimes everyone else's end game isn't doesn't have to be your end game. So sometimes you just have to find a path, find a way, market yourself, create a brand and find a way to be successful making art, even if it's just to make art, to create beautiful things to look at. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.